from notes, forgive me, um, I wanted to be tight on time. Um, yeah, so I'm David Hinchard. My wife and I have lived at our house uh, at the Penistone Road end of Daisy Road Lane for almost 15 years. And along with our current and previous next door neighbours, who were the Sheards, who some of you might know, uh, at Moorside Farm, have had long-standing concerns about road safety issues where the lane meets Penistone Road immediately opposite its junction with Strines Moor Road. The crossroads is located on a bend at the brow of a hill with very limited visibility and traffic often travelling well above the 60 mile per hour limit. The chair has been supplied with correspondence we've had with Curfew's Council over this matter going back well over a decade uh, and she was kind enough to meet my wife and I and our neighbour uh, to look at the junction on the 8th of March. 
During the following week, we received a letter from Kirklees Planning, indicating that an application had been made to change the use of agricultural land off the lane and erect fencing for its use as a dog exercise facility. The applicant lives at a property converted a couple of years ago from an old barn belonging to Daisy Lee Farm. Uh, and the land to be fenced in, just over four acres, is currently used to graze sheep. The application gave no details concerning how often the land was to be used, but the farm's occupants found more information on a website established on the 25th of January advertising Dog Adventures Hayed Edge. This indicates that customers will be able to bring their dogs on site for half hour or one hour sessions from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. The access point to this field is nearly half a mile up the lane from Penston Road. This is an unadopted, largely single farm track with few passing places, maintained by Wild Boar Farm at its top and the four other households who use it. Ros Warburton, who farms at Wild Boar, is unable to come tonight because of lambing, but the representations to planning make clear it's completely unsuitable for the ongoing vehicle usage promoted by this application. The lane is the only means of vehicle access to Wild Boar and in regular use for moving livestock, farm machinery and the, de the delivery of foodstuffs, especially hay, as well as straw. The significant additional traffic likely to be used in the junction with Penston Road, especially at busy times if the application is approved, will clearly add to the existing dangers. My wife and I keep sheep, and when they're allowed out free-range poultry, in the field immediately adjacent to the one proposed for dog use. The dry stone boundary wall between them includes a small access hole which allows brown hairs to move between the two. The erection of metal fencing around that field will prevent the movement of such increasingly threatened wildlife and no thought seems to have been given to the environmental impact of this proposed business. When we have been encouraged to markedly reduce vehicle emissions, what sense does it make to encourage people to drive from towns and villages to an isolated rural spot to pay to walk their dogs? When we're increasingly aware of the importance of the UK producing its own food, what sense does it make to remove four acres of farmland for the purpose of dog walking? I do hope you'll support our objections. Thank you. Thanks, David. Well done. Thank you. Three minutes. Thank you. Um, right, Martin. Yeah, uh, yeah um, I was actually speaking to the farmer this afternoon, and probably the biggest consideration in rejecting this uh, application is that it is a single track uh, farm track that serves the farm at the end of it and it is a really busy farm uh, with large tractors and trailers on this single track no question of being able to reverse them vehicles up for uh, dog walking traffic and um, also um, the use which has been proposed um, as an example, four cars in and out per half hour uh, slot equates to 16 journeys an hour. And if the business operates for 16 hours a day, we're looking at 256 journeys a day, which equates to a staggering 1,792 journeys a week. The point is that Daisy Lee Lane suffers very badly from erosion caused by inclement weather and the introduction of higher traffic volumes on the lane will only uh, exasperate this situation. Daisy Lee Lane can be brutal in the winter, often covered in ice and snow, which drifts to many metres in height. And I believe that the working part of the Wabble Clough would find it difficult to maintain access, having nowhere to put out the snow with the introduction of this high fence. His, his bucket wouldn't be able to clear it. And, uh, Anyway, even when they do clear it, it's absolutely no question of it. It's single, it's single track is that that um, is that lane. Um, we also are worried <coughs> about <coughs> the water supply. The Yorkshire water, you know, like a lot of houses, have got the stopcock 
right outside the front door and they're responsible from that stopcock to their house. Yorkshire Water stopcock for our houses is on Peniston Lane, Road. Oak Road Farm, yeah. and it's like, you know, a third of a mile away. And all this extra, extra uh, vehicles on the lane, we don't know what damage it might do to that. Um, we also believe that this proposal will uh, arm the uh, openness of the green belt. The field will be enclosed with a side fence running alongside the edge of Daisy Lee Lane, ruining the scenic open view to the northeast in the direction of the Emily Mass. The proposed fencing would introduce an in, in, intrusive industrial appearance element to the local landscape and the structure would appear incongruous in this rural open location and lead to an undermining of a sense of place of the area. The proposed development also has a footpath, a public footpath running adjacent to it, used regularly by hill walkers who visit the area for the enjoyment of peaceful and scenic location. There's a question about the parking. They're saying that there is parking for four vehicles, but they don't tell us what it is. So, you might correct me if I'm wrong here, but my understanding is whilst the, it's an unadopted road, if these customers decide they're going to park on it, that's classed as trespass. So then that would have, if they're going to then park in, in, in the Granger's own area outside their house, that's only like 20 or 30 feet away from uh, my neighbour's house and my house. And we're going to get these cars coming all the time. And at five o'clock in the morning, we're going to be listening to doors opening, doors slamming, dog owners shouting, whistles blowing, and all the comings and goings, especially in the winter with LED lights and what have you as well. Um, there's, on the application, um, the applicant said that there isn't a water course on the field. Um, I've been and had a word with farmer this afternoon and he's, driven, he's drawn me one of his handy, handy uh, <laughs> uh, field maps. So without a doubt, without any shadow of a doubt, there's at least three courses of water run across that field. They then put feed into a gully at the bottom, which has only recently, well, it's been, uh, what's the word, refurbished only in the last few days by Oanfirth Landscaping, and it's extremely well done and, and visible. It, it's a deep cut. That water goes underneath the Peniston Road. It feeds into the water courses that go down to Dean Bridge, Jackson Bridge, into the River Home, and away into wherever else after that. I think, uh, I think we're nearing the three oh, minutes. Am I? Alright. So. I've Thank got to dry my mouth anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank, oh, thanks, Thank you. Thanks very much. Right, so we'll go now. He's, he's, he's quite upset about it, that farm. I, I, I don't know if he's, he's worried about how he's going to carry on. Right. I'm upset that with the word. Yeah. <laughs> when it's when it's after me, it's me. Well, do you want to as uh, the other school councillor? Yeah. The village councillor yes. to comment well, on this. Well look, I've been looking at this. Um I have a field which is adjacent to the main road. And you can see when you come out of that. It's just further on. But at the junction where this is, you can't see. It's bad. A private road is it has six dwellings on it already. Um, five or six is the maximum. So if we've got that plus another business, that's bad. Originally that lane serviced three farms. The middle farm has now got more houses than was there before because the barn buildings have been converted. Wild War Club Farm had one house, it now has two of each other. There's too many people using it. Somebody might say, well, there's tractors and one thing. Tractors are the only thing that can see both ways yeah. because of the height. Cars going out of there. I'm thinking that it's going to be, going to be an accident one day. And I think this is an accident waiting to 
happen if uh, Gergely's highway is uh, highways allow it. And I think the only reason we can rebuild it is on highways because of the highway infrastructure <laughs> and the access. Because other things, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I know it might disturb you and one thing or another, but it's commonplace now to find these places where the water dogs. Everybody during the pandemic has got a dog and they're now finding out they need exercise yeah. and they can't exercise them. And because they're so well fed, these people with these designer dogs that cost two or three thousand pounds each, they fight, they've got to find somewhere for them to go and be pampered and go and play. I, I, I remember years ago a field that I used to keep my feet in up at home and they, the farmer caught somebody with his dog running in the field. And he said, well, what are you doing? He says, oh, he's been with me fucking all day. He says, he's got to have some exercise. Why are you in your field? Mm -hmm. uh, if it was somewhere different, I would agree that it was needed. But because of where it is, the side where it is, no way does it work. There's too many cars going on that road anyway. The, the, the other thing is, it's another doctrine road. And we, right. we, as, we as residents pay to maintain that. Why should we pay for somebody else to run a business off of it? Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Marty. That's, yeah, that's um, I think what's a bit, a bit difficult about this is actually, the, obviously I'm aware the gentleman has given us um, their perspective, which is very, very useful and interesting to hear. Um, but in the application, on the basis of the information we have, we, I, think, I don't think there's enough information with which to um, make a kind of certainly not to support it at this stage because um, there's basically there isn't the information about how many people are expected to come, what are the working hours and there is, there is nothing in the application that reflects that or indeed where the parking is going to be provided or if anything is going to be proposed to be done to provide say parking places on the lane or visibility displays or anything like that. So actually we don't know what the business is trying to achieve other than obviously we can speculate about what it might do and clearly you gentlemen may have um, you know, information that you're aware of, but that's not within the planning papers that we're, that we're looking at. So I would say we can refuse it on the basis of highways concerns, but that's almost on the basis of assumptions we're having to make about how it will be used. <coughs> I think that's, that's quite, you know, kind of quite difficult to do. I'm not saying we shouldn't do that, but I'm also struck by, I was, I was almost slightly surprised as to how it, um, the sort of planning application it came to, because I think in, in I'm sure I saw somewhere, they, yes, they had, pre-application advice, so because they tick the box saying they've been in contact with the council about it. And I'm surprised they haven't been asked to put something in about the nature of the business that's going to be using it. Um, because to some extent, their field, so what they want to do with it, um, is obviously, obviously if it's commercial enterprise, it's slightly different, but if they just wanted to use it for their own dogs to run around, then they could clearly do that. And I don't know what the planning restrictions no. are in terms of the fencing. So, so, so I'm happy to refuse it, but I just think we need to be a bit careful with the basic information we've got. Yeah, thanks. Sure. So, Tom? Yeah, I don't know whether this field is. I've driven up that track quite a few times. Probably not for about 10 years or so, but I used to drive up there quite a bit. And that's the new the one that was at the farm. And um, the, the road is terrible. Like, I used to be, I was scared that I'd break the car every time I drove up there. There was a lot of potholes and things on it, and it's, it's a nightmare. But, um, I don't know if, 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 if the road would be in really bad condition, it's really a planning consideration. That says the highway is quite bad and the junction is quite bad there. And it is, but I've never had a, a problem getting out of there. <laughs> but the one thing I will surprise to these two gentlemen probably is that um, I, I, don't, I don't think there'll be as many journeys as you think there will be, because I don't think it'll be booked up every hour of every day. But if it is taking bookings at five o'clock in the morning, the thing about um, the, the, the dogs are noisy, mm -hmm. they couldn't make a lot of noise, and and uh, this business is moving next to you. It's not like you're moving next to it. We, we've had people come to the council and complain to us about uh, kennels making too much noise and things like that, and they've moved and come and moved next to the kennels. If you were going and moving next to the kennels, I wouldn't have any sympathy with you yeah. about dogs barking, but th this business is moving next to where you are, so until so you've got reasons to complain, and I think that could be an, an environmental aspect of that, possible sound. Um, in, in my ward in Hepworth, on the Dean Lane, there's a dog, one of these dog fields. I walked past it yesterday, I noticed it. And um, it's next to a farm, it's by itself, nothing else around it. So the only people that's going to annoy are people at the farm. 
So that's a bit different to these guys. And like, but that, that, that dock field of that place, ideal, that's fine. Mm. But with you guys, I can see why you've got a few yeah. concerns. Thomas, the one occasion in Edward, the field that he questioned, was sold by the farmer to these people mm -hmm. that right. have the dog walking. So he sold, he sold it, so he, right. he, he, he can complain. Right, does anybody else want to comment before I uh, yes. just Just to yeah. expand on the point about the, uh, <coughs> the, the injunction, we, we know from other conversations about that road and that junction, and, and whatever they choose to do with additional information, they can't do anything about that junction. Well, I, it, as, um, <coughs> as David said, I, before this plan application appeared, before I was aware of it, I had been to have a look at the junction and I sort of had to be seen out, out of it, uh, you know, driving on to Penistone Road. It was, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. Um, so, and the, the other thing that struck me about this application, the same thing I told to Luke to, is that there is very little information in there. Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't, because I didn't go looking, I didn't go about the five o'clock to nine o'clock, because there is nothing in the, in, in the, in the information, information about how many hours, how many dogs, and a great deal of information which isn't there. And um, so, <coughs> I guess our choice is... Um, well, they, they, they made it to one side point, they pick this up from the left side, there's somebody jumping the gun, somebody thinking they're going to get it, and they've put all this information forward, which has been better, well, which has been good ammunition for the residents up there. And it's giving you some ammunition that you wouldn't have had, because you wouldn't have known about the Edwards. Absolutely. And if they prepared to do that, I think they've shot themselves in the foot. I'd like to, I'd like to uh, propose that we uh, uh, reject it. I think from a planning point of view, uh, we're getting a bit of a a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of I think we've got to reject it on the highway and the access and egress and that uh, there is more dwellings than is acceptable for a private road. Now, and the influence of extra uh, traffic and a business moving in and using it on an hour, a time scale that would want some residents. Yeah, I was going to say, it's between 10 and 3, I'd be more sympathetic towards them, because then you're not waking up at every hour of the day. We don't have that information. But, 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 but we should also mention as well, that's the lack of information. Because yeah. if we, we read more information about the parking and um, about the hours, it, like, if it was something more, then, then, then it might be something more reasonable to think about. But it's obviously still the highway is an issue, but yeah. I'm not saying we don't so need, think, we don't, we don't need these things. I think Proposal then, which is that proposal, yeah. Proposal, yeah. Yeah. Should we vote on that? Should we vote on that? Should we vote with the objections to the proposal? Okay. Oh, I get off the old ground of highways because really that's the only that's the big that's the big that's the big no no that's the big no no only the no 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 Oh, noise, 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 yeah, potential. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I don't know whether that one will wash with the yeah, clean, but it, it's worth looking at. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can include it in our objection. Right, so thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Please use the lift. There's no oh, lifts lift. on the stairs. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Maybe that's all you need to have now.
Um, it's just an extension to the left. It's, it's um, grabbing still sorry. Small. I think there's a conservatory there already at the moment as well, which has been taken over. There's plenty of space for it. I think it's okay. Since it was approved to change the use by us and everybody else, and they said they wanted a restaurant, they announced that it's called the Hooley House. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. And some of the people living nearby are beginning to think, I mean, they haven't been able to open it, and they keep saying, no, no, it's going to be a restaurant, and there will be some singing once, you know, twice a year between eight and nine, and... Uh, <laughs> Well, an Irish pub can be a noisy pub, but, um, but the other half of the village on the Facebook page is going, great, sound splashing. Yeah, that's like, but I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, the ventilation is too technical, really, for us, so yeah. <clears throat> Noise in the store as such, it's the 
why we will build that in the first place. Yes, it would be a good thing. Yes, it would be a good thing. Um, I, I mean, I think we should, I don't mind just leave it to Kirk Lee to highlight the fact that um, noise is considered in the application. Because there, there are ways in which noise could be reduced, it doesn't, you know, even if it's surfacing of the car park or you know, where you're allowed to idle sit and idle your van. Or, or limiting the hours that heavy vehicles yeah. can go. Yeah. I think they need to look at that because there are certain, I mean it is an industrial area, you're right next to the um, sewage thing, but, but the, um, but you know, there are some properties there and I think they ought to. They do say very carefully that they, you know, the large deliveries in, in North Slurry, that's, that's still going to be the thing that yeah. Yeah. I, think, I, think maybe, I think we should we should encourage working business mm. with yeah. and it's yeah. convenient for other tradesmen like Thomas has said. Mm. Mm. And I think it's for their benefit as much as anybody's mm. that we can allow the extra because if the finishing is the job at tea time they can go and get the work the stuff for the, the day after and then they know what they want and you know, I don't think it's a big thing. I think most of the most of the vehicles do the right of vehicles. Yeah. This is a simple thing my son does and he does rely very heavily on the likes of screw peaks and yeah. weak seventy wheel and that sort of thing. Um so I think it's a lot it's of it's not like, like, it's not like heavy building it, like it's not like well, <coughs> how are our producers they've got heavy building materials like like blocks and timber mm -hmm. and huge things. So they're not gonna I mean huge wagons picking things up no. and things like that. It's gonna be picking up bits and pieces, isn't it? Yeah. So you're like it's, it's kinda of like an iron boss for building furniture, yeah. being up all bits yeah. and pieces. You can you use your app and your bucket and your order it. It's it's really handy. You just go there and you tell them to do your own. It's really good like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I've seen us quite a few people in support of this The only, needs to be, uh, yes. okay. the only concern is that the other business which runs from there is the heavy it's, vehicles yeah. and if they were going to be running at a higher rate of time. But I don't think we've ever sort of accepted with that. But we should just make some more so bits. It's in five o'clock in the morning. But, but ask that attention should be given to, to the needs of the yeah. 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 like trees around the house. There's as buffalo and lion and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. a bit off and sell it or let it or sublet it or anything but it seems from the block plan to go right up to the neighbour boundary which in turn appears to be really quite close to the house it's hard to tell from a block plan whether that's a problem or not i can't see other than that closeness to the proximity to the boundary i can't see any planning reasons to turn it down okay. It looked as though it had been extended quite a lot already, didn't yes. it? Yes. I'm just wondering where the planet one you were looking at and say it's already been hugely extended and this is just you know, a step too far. But they may have yeah. more, they may be, they may have 23 children probably. Yeah, well, that's wrong. It's a bit of an identification in the green, but if it's a green, that will go off the other road. It's built, it won't be. No, it's where yeah. there, it's not on the agricultural side of the road, it's yeah. on the residential side. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is it's, the area will be washed with green, and you're only allowed to build so much bigger yeah. in, in green areas, aren't they? Yeah, but they're still within their own land. They're within their own garden. That's, really that's, that's, that, that's not just what I'm meaning. What I'm no, meaning but I mean, it's not... The, the, if, it, if, it's a, if it's an area that is 
uh, there was Lee Ring on the farm. There is housing with E. And it's all right to build in your own house because it's in your own garden because it takes tea. But there was, it, there used to be limits, and I don't know whether they still apply. To, I don't, to, I don't to think the, it, it how, you could, how much you could be yeah. building bigger. In but the it isn't house. too big a proportion of the <clears> existing house. It is already a big house. Yeah, but if there, that, a, if there are previous extensions, you, you, you take away your, uh, your permitted rights. Well, we don't know if there are previous extensions. Yeah. It's, it's building above the garage. It's right. a huge looking, you know, it's a huge house. It's, it's a, a very big dominant house. house, but I don't think it will make so any So are we moving to Scotland? Assuming that Assuming proximity that is okay, yes. Yeah. 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 Proximity to the neighbour. I think it's to the boundary. It appears to go right up to the boundary, which I didn't think was allowed. But I think it's, you know, have you looked at like Google Maps and the view of looking at the house in the next door? Because it is just above the garage. It is still in. Yeah. Ah, right. And that side wall of the next door neighbour doesn't have any room in it. Right. That, but that's it. Well, yes. It's just a beer, you know, stood it up there. Yeah. And stuff. yeah I, I can't really see any grounds to object to. Right. I've just written some more. I can't see any objection at all. Is there a lot of land to that place? Hmm? Is there a lot of land to this uh, farm? Yeah. I don't know how big their total acreage is, but they're a farm. Uh, it is a farm. I'm going to say you've got to be over two and a half acres before you can have it. Any sort it's of part of um, Brindon Edwards. Oh, it's part of Brindon. Oh, sorry, it's that one. It's not, uh, I was thinking it was the uh, peace guy who the other road, sorry. Yeah, no, there's no problem with that kind. Okay, support, that one, number 10, yeah. number 8, sorry, yeah. darling. Uh, number 9, Questioning 
It's out of the way. I don't think it's. Yeah. Well, it might be out of the way, but yeah. it's still. <laughs> it's about the character in the Green Belt, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, the, windows, the windows were still leaving, but then when I went a bit more, I mean, I think some of the, those existing windows were actually relatively new, aren't they? Because they were barn doors and all kinds of other things. Yeah. And then actually, it, 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 it previously. So. so they're neither in character nor out of character. No. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really affecting all the visual ones out there. I know the Rachel leaves, but I think, yeah, it's okay. And they have pre-application discussions on this one as well, so I, I think it's... Can we go into the box? Yeah. Is this number 12? It disappeared. This is number 12, yes. Um, and yes. it disappeared. <laughs> and they were previously refused. They were previously refused, yes. 2021. Yeah. Um, I have to find that one and the reason for refusal. But, um, but, you, but um, I did Rich, have a look at it, but you don't know. You're not going to make it later. Uh, I can't read. And Rich tried to chase it all, but the, the, the officer responsible always didn't work on him all day, so. Um, we really, yeah. so, so we're just going to have to say no. What, what, what I'd like to think on this one is, you say, uh, have the people gone back with a sec second application after the first one was reviewed? Uh, and, um, so, uh, so some consultation. Yeah. It's not good if we don't make a comment. But it isn't there. It it doesn't make a comment. I think we made. I think we made the comment that uh, we could not uh, find it on the yes, uh, on think, the list. I think we and, said, uh, I think we, said we would like mm. to comment later to later date if possible. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a good point. So, isn't no it? comment because we have no information. Well, yeah. 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 Next time, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's the last, yeah. the last, the last one was twenty fifth of August last year. when it was yeah. refused, but. I, I just tried to set tax type in the first code, and instead of the first code, it's yeah. nice to bring some other things in case one of the numbers yeah. is slightly out, but it's not yeah, in there. I, I tried that with my search, yeah. not saying it's good at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so good. Sometimes it does work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not in this um, case. So, yes, yeah, so, so no, we're making no comment, we're not having the information, but we would like it to come back and so we, we can comment the next, the next meeting. Okay. Um, the next one, block holds. I've got to Comments, hold. Comments, got same same yeah. 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 Comments on this one. Mm -hmm. Just support it. Yeah. Yeah. You okay on that one? Part number, number 13. Yeah, it's not in my area, but yeah. No, I, no. I thought it was fine. It was I, I, I have lots of it to go, so I'll leave lots of the ones in my area. It's just, yeah, and it is, it is step back from Comments on Body, and it's, uh, um, number, f number 14, there was another with a refusal in 21. Um, oh gosh, this is on my road, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, if you've been past it recently, it's absolutely a real huge earthworks, a massive, massive of earthworks inside. Um, but when they're on an incline like that, they have <coughs> to, don't they, Corey Sosson? This is the one that was approved in 1800. It was approved for one house in the Refused yeah. for two. Refused for two, yeah. But then the end of the period was that one. It, it was, yes. It was a grand change. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. it was it, 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 it was refused because the, the last iteration had pointed, you know, pointed bits on the film, which isn't quite out and out on the work. So so they've taken the pointed bits away. So it's a flat, it's a flat fronted three stories on the front, two stories on the back, and all that along the line. I mean, the principal, of, the principal building on there has already been, been accessed. Right, so they've, they've designed it so that the um, people it's can pass. So they've, they've angled, yes, I mean, it's they've, they've angled, yes. <coughs> they've angled the line of their yeah. driveway walls so that people mm. can use that as a parcel yeah. space. And they seem to have done this space. Yes, they've got their cars and bin storage yes. and all that sort of stuff. They've said that in the last one. Oh, it's not old. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's one that's approved for development, maybe. Yes, the principal has included. So I just think it's, it's, it's too, too many, or yeah. is, is, it, is it right that too? I think no, there's enough room for two. 
by the way, I, I, we, we're going to reduce the value of them. So that, so that could be more helpful for people buying. They're quite small and free, yeah. free bedrooms. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be better for people buying than yeah, one, one great big five bedroom. Yeah. Absolutely, I think it's, yeah, so it looks the problem. Do they have um, quite a bit of parking as well? Like, yeah. Yes, yeah. they have another one. So I was going to say, like, if you have any visitors, then, then you can just come around there and it's parking. It, it, it would be really helpful to have this wheelchair sat in the back, that open space at the front, so that you know people can pass. We know it's a bit of a oh, nightmare right on Cliff Road. So let's. So we, so and the thing I want to say is, there's, yeah. there's nothing in there sort of down on the chairs. So yes, that's so we, so we do. Okay. Shall we ask for Uber? Yeah. 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 So that's like, is it? Is, would it yes. Would, would that be in keeping with the houses around there though? And, and then what, maybe the ground source pump you go around the back. But I'd be interested, I don't know if there's any listed buildings around there, but all old, old looking buildings around there. There's plenty of old buildings. I suppose you're going to sort of panels at the back. It doesn't have to be solar panels, does it? I mean, it could be at the back. You could do solar panels at the back. I'm thinking like what they did with that other house, that one where they showed us the model. Yeah. Where they did all the environmental things at the back of it. Yeah, it's a situation, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's just, yeah. no, but you're, 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 and still keep it like looking and keeping as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're supporting the supporting yeah. with, yeah. with yeah. thoughts we yeah. might yeah. some green yeah. suggestions. Yeah. suggestions yeah. 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 <coughs> 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 should also just keep an eye on this one to make sure it's not on the launch or anything. No, it's not. No. I walk, I walked back up yesterday, I come back up from the lot and there were three men standing staring staring at the at this tremendous excavation <laughs> so engaging in conversation and impressed them because I've just been looking at the thing and I was asking, you know, it's, it's this, this and this and <laughs> I don't think we've any grounds for refusing, so <laughs> um you showed up your planning <laughs> <laughs> I mean they are said to me in the statement, I mean, they are going to start on it on the 2018 because it's the building that they're looting. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's why they're looting. That's why they're starting the, the excavation. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it's just horrendous. But it will, yeah. So, so are yeah. you saying they could leave it as a big hole for quite a long time? Yeah. No, I think yes. what they're saying is it's if good. they don't start on yeah. the final position they've got. Yeah, yeah, the but what they could do is dig the hole and leave it for a very long time, like they did when yeah. they dug the tender of Bradford up. Yes. Yes, <laughs> and left it, and left it, left the hole for ten years. It was a hint to the threat. It depends on the need of the building. You know, you could end up with you know, the situation you've got in there. You know, read more into it than this. So. You never know. They might be wanting to get one into two houses mm -hmm. now, and then, and then sell it. But they've got if they've made a sale, then it's going to be there. But we can't guess what they're going to do. They've got plumbing. Yeah. 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 That's number, number 19. Yeah. Not 15. Number 15 is, uh, number 15 is uh, a describing condition. So we just yeah. have to go with standard yeah. reply. I think we've got to do because it yeah. looks like certain things are being discharged, but then they're looking for uh, other uh, variations, which to me seems as if they're asking the fire too much. They've got planning permission and they build the house and now they want to, they don't want it, they want to get something different, don't they? Number 16. Number 14. Two stories for very short people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making the most of the last space rather than creating, rather than doubling the height of the building. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was the last set of very short people. I thought it was the last set of very short people. It's all right, I don't take offence, it's fine. It's a product. You just don't call them dwarfs. Right, number number seventeen side extension pass. I'm pretty sure. Let me have a quick look up. I think I've got. Um, I've got support. It looked perfectly fine to me. Quite Mary. a big, quite a big extension, but not ridiculously so. And Mary, my view on this is 
Runway was born near Council Estate. Yeah. Runway has been more cost houses. To make a big extension and a side extension as well would make it into an expensive property. It will never be that expensive in Runway, trust me. <laughs> no, but, no, but I know it won't, but it's, it's, it's encouraging everybody in that way. Well, yeah, but say. once somebody owns a house, you can't yeah. stop them applying yeah. to put an additional... It's, 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 we've got, it's a sad fact we've got to live with. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Accept, I, accept, I accept the point you make, yeah. It's not fun it's, consideration. It's, 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 very like, it's very like the one, uh, yeah, the, the one that, that we were talking about earlier on, on Bank. Backfield. Yeah, backfield. Because it, again, it's a full width extension and it's not stepped back, but it's. It, 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 so it is there, they are, they're all quite a yes, long way back, actually. Yeah, I mean, step back from may have, but that's. And they've left a the path between them yeah. and the boundary yeah. and they're not overlooking yeah. the neighbours. They have very big gardens, those yeah. houses. Yeah. As that, as that uh, pedigree of council yeah. house did. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is complicated. It's just simply the old grates yeah. uh, that used to fill the roof on the second that must have gone there. The old what? Grates. What's yeah. a grate? <laughs> 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 it's a channel. A channel for water. Water, so it's much out of the river. And, and it would have gone down to the river. There's a bar of that. I don't know what's going on behind us, so don't worry about that. The goings are still there. I grew up in the North East, I'm sure we've got a word of our own. These grates are very badly overgrown already. Yeah. They do serve some sort of standards, I think. And certainly the neighbours are commenting that it wouldn't be right to just drop them off. Well, didn't we have somebody last time that spent a fortune protecting a goit? Yes, and we're willing to continue to spend even more. Again, it's just came and spoke about it. I think the other thing, and again, it's not immediately obvious, but I don't think we've ever seen this place, but they want them to build a almost six metre high retaining wall and block out of one of the goings and then yeah, fill it in. Yeah, Yeah, and then fill in behind it to, to, to widen their access road. Yeah. But that's, and again, it doesn't show it on the plan because I guess they don't have to do it. They don't have to show neighbouring properties. But the neighbouring property would be looking out of this. It's a high wall. <coughs> it, it says it here, Andy. Um, I'm just looking at this and I can't work it out. It's a turning area for Ivy Farm. Well, um, that's a good thing that it's providing a turning area for the next door property. But then it says, um, with associated decking and steps. So are we having a turning area for cars on decking and steps? No, no, that's such a lower level. It's really, it's really, I mean, it I mean, is a complex. My thing is that it's a bit of complication, which is a technical, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I think in principle it would be a good thing, yeah. won't it? I think the neighbours have got a valid point about the proximity of this uh, yeah. uh, retaining wall. Um, yes. But the visual impact of the retaining wall, I think, should, but also, if when it you knows heavy rain, that it is actually so are we saying we're not, you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to be in a position that's too tight? I'd like to make some comments about the, 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 the height of the retaining wall and the yeah. impact on so, neighbouring properties. As for the drainage aspects, I think, I don't think it's right to go to a contract and have a comment on that. Leave it to Goyt experts. Yes. <laughs> Goyt is. Concerns about the tightness of the retaining wall. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
definitely, because yeah. they're basically yeah. suggesting they knew something was the existing property as well. It's for a residence, though, uh, Rachel. It was that. It isn't for something more than oh, a residence. It? Yeah, but I think potentially they could oh, then right. say, well, we've got the principle of planning for more houses on there, and then right. and squeeze the in the four. Andy has discovered it was the one that previous asked, previously asked to build five houses. It can't have been on the same site. Well, it says 18 days one and all. Yeah, but it couldn't have been on the same site. You couldn't conceivably get five houses. There's application for demolition of existing dwelling. Which, which number, Edgewood? 18. Well, it's nowhere near. This is... This is um, Oh, it is eighty. So, so that would mean demolishing existing houses and, and putting five in stone. Yeah. Now, now so now good. they're saying leave the existing house and build one. Yeah. I don't see how we can object. I think mean, we need more houses. I think if they were even considering five before they thought they may have two, it suggests it's totally different. Mm. Mm. So, Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 It's just a corner of the It's just a corner of the garden. Trying to make the not putting it. You could make a much more serviceable area. Yeah. Part of the park. Taking that type of turn there, isn't it? Yeah. There's a turn there, isn't it? Like that. It's a bit weird. We're watching. We're going through decision on this. So. Well, I'm going to support. Oh, right. So we need to go. We'll have to go to a vote. We'll have to have a vote on this then. So we'll either support it. So, 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 so let's do. Um, okay. So who's who's in favour of um, supporting it? Application. Who who's in favour of opposing it? Um, I was going to say something as well, actually. I was going to say the original plan was to demolish the big house yeah. and, and have two sets of semis and then have the small one on the end. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing instead is they're keeping the big house as it is and then just putting the small one on the end, which we're going to do from the original plans. Mm -hmm. So I suppose sticking one on the end is a lot better than it would have been if you'd stuck all those with the extra houses on there. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's a cul-de-sac though, isn't it? It's in the road. Yeah, so we'll so still be going for that. It is a cul-de-sac, so well, yeah, but when the traffic once they've got residential development on that time, it's alright putting on this little one. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all right on this little one. but if they get if they get residential on that side, that's saying that that land's residential, and to flatten the house and put extra on. Yeah, might be the best thing that comes next. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I thought I thought we'd do quite well with the with the original plans. I thought we'd do quite well with the original plans. I thought we'd do quite Uh, the only thing I would say is it's got one of these aluminium roofs on it. 
it's probably not in keeping with what you have there, but it's uh, like I said, it's out of the way. I don't know what the other guy was thinking. If it were a farm building, you could have it here. It's my little little. I thought yeah. it looked better than what's there. Yeah, all right, with a brief box. And no, no, that's fine. It's okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought it was all right. Yeah, yeah, I like the fact that it's like tennis changing area. Yeah. 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 Oh no, I, I, I did notice that. I, don't, I think that was just a mistake. The one that, um, that wasn't intended as a criticism. No, 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 I, no, no I, I did, I did notice the one, the one that um, 90306, I think yeah. they inject, uh, we injected and they infused it. I think I've just, I think I've just typed it wrong. Oh, okay. I'd have to look it. I'd have to look it up. But I'm. I'm, I'm Sorry, you don't need to, because I know you forwarded the, the letters anyway. They were received. Yeah. Letters. I'm fairly certain that's just a mistake. There doesn't seem to be any pattern around when we. Well, I think often they reflected our thoughts. Yeah. 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 Yeah
think it would be helpful to I'm not going to have you being the friend she's Show yeah. Once she's got this, no. no, that's an introduction. And that's the table where you can find what she's working on and what her yes. projects are. And yeah. well, it's quite clear that the main project will be a bit of the main development of her. But it'd be good to look at get some kind of working relationship with her. Yeah. With this, the Charlotte's in the prison, isn't it? Uh, yeah. She's got a yeah. So she'd probably be our contact with doing stuff like that and other things. So, yeah, it'd be good to meet her. Can I suggest we ask for if it's in the job description that, that it's achieved by that? No, no, I think it out. I'll go up with that. Should be in three useful. But I think one of the things it says is mm. work with ward members, which obviously can't be ward yeah. members, but along with their communities, prepare local investment plans for town centres and yeah. implement the overseeing of the program of investment. Um, I just think it'd be helpful to know the timescales for what she's okay. working towards. And then, then it would be nice if she then came and spoke to. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, so Need to get head around some of these yeah. things first, doesn't she? So it's we're not, not be in an early meeting, but we still need she's got something to, mm -hmm. to report to us rather than yeah. But she must be sketching out the approach, she or wants to, even if it's like we'll be able yeah. to talk to you in November yeah. about what I'm going to do. She'll be swamped with recommendations from her friends, mm -hmm. yeah. and she's very conservation bodies. Yeah. So to be fair, it's <coughs> the 29th of March. 
Okay, so we know the decision notice is issued by the PQC Council. No, so we can say so we know that. Um, mm -hmm. we, we, they didn't disagree. Well, no, we decided they did. Right, and then the um, item three on the agenda um, is the response to the parish, by the parish council government's land sketch for the um, the Gloomer review. Um, so this is something that Andy and I and I worked on, and uh, took us quite a while. Isn't it, Andy? Can so I comment on it? It's an excellent letter, and I support its submission. Yeah. Okay. So, so we are. Are you happy? I guess. Are you happy yeah. to to, yeah. to yeah. take that down? So I'm just going to move that from the top of the first page. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Wait, and, and Andy, I'm really I'm really 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 yeah, yeah, um, yes, Andy, thank you for the. I think the only point I make about it was that you treat builders the thing about green lanes, and it's so much more than that, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And, and there's a danger of just seeing it in that light. Mm. Yeah. The thing you mentioned there, Green Lane, that uh, application we had earlier today with the um, uh, doggy area, J yeah. days, uh, that road will have been a Green Lane at one time, it's been upgraded by the farmers mm -hmm. because it runs right through Guinea Gate up to Moorcock, but that's now been blocked off by because uh, it's the, the planting of uh, uh, heaps of muck and whatever. So that track that goes up to Guinea Gate, which was a green lane, which was an extension of Daisy Lee Lane, doesn't, isn't open now for traffic. But that could have been a green lane at one time. And I think that should have been a point that it could have been, um, you know, it, it, could, it could well have been. But anyway, that's uh, over and done with and we've passed that one through. So just to just come back uh, to that, to this last item, so it needs to go into C3 quickly, isn't it? Um, done a, an outline design uh, 
soft or when you, they, they put in the, the, the kind of so-called soft improvements on the, the head edge, you know, yeah. the outside the road corridor. Yeah. We're not talking about the other dangerous junctions yet. We're talking about, yes, we're talking, we're talking, talking, talking about, about, about the three, we're talking about the roadshed drive and also the, the, um, so yeah. the road one. Uh, and yes, and I also picked up the, the Daisy Lee Lane right. one as well. Yeah. So yeah. we're talking about all, all, all three of those. And sure. um, so he's now arranging, Mark Sky's arranging a meeting with Tom Valley Town's ward councillors uh, to update them. Um, and then uh, when Sir had the meeting, he's arranged to provide us with an update on how Good. things are. And then after the discussions with the ward councillors, everybody with us, that they are then brought to the public um, <coughs> consultation. So, so there is slight move. Well, that's yeah, what it says. Wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's a change. Yeah, something's happening. Right. Okay. That is that one. All right. Uh, Burnley. Yes. Burnley Road. Probably. Um, right. More information on that. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> Do you want to say anything on this? Uh, I did have a chat with the lady that lives at that property. Um, she's put a slightly different slant on it. In fact, she showed me a very long email from her insurer, which is quite um, interesting. You do get a copy of it in house, by the way. Um, Kirk Lees are still maintaining that this retaining wall is private structure. There's actually two retaining walls there. There's the original, looks like a dry stone retaining wall that would have been there long before that property was sold. And then there's a secondary wall slightly further up that's really retaining the uh, garage and the patio area. Now, which cause a collapse of the other, I don't know if anyone would ever know, but they're both linked together. The insurer's saying, you can't really repair one without doing both. They want to do it together. They have offered to do both, but on the basis that they will pay for what they see as their upper wall, the one retaining their property, and Kirklees will pay for the original wall. So Kirklees, sorry, no, they want you to do to do both at their costs. So, and they're threatening. <coughs> Take legal reaction against Mrs. Weaver who lives at this house because that's the way they have to do it. The insurers, I've used my terminology, have said, well, if that's what you think, you can have one because you're not going to win that one. And so that is sort of stalemate now. So it's an argument between the insurers and Kirk Lees. Correct. Mm -hmm. And what it really needs is the insurers that wants someone from Kirk Lees and someone from the insurers to get together and bang their heads together and yeah. say, yeah. Agree between you who's doing it and how much we're going to cost. And meanwhile, we're all shut. Mm -hmm. And that's the fact that we do that. It doesn't force them to do that. I don't think it does. No, and I think I've looked at this section first, and looked, looked at the template, and I think, I mean, I didn't ask this question of Jen, but we couldn't quite get to an answer. Um, I think the notice must be in the name of an individual, or I suspect, no, 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 no. I suspect no, no. that. Can't, the council, they can't, they can't do the arrangement. So, um, yeah. My understanding is that if, if you, as an individual, you can serve under Section 56, all it establishes is are they responsible for the road? Well, I think they know they are. Yeah, I think they know they are. It's not worth spending money to establish that. No, they may need to do it. It's turning into one of those like. Um, Near Lockwood, wasn't it? Where yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 And I think there's a common theme in there. I have to say this, and, and it seems that they are resisting repairing any walls or highways and claiming that they are they um, cost too much responsibility. So, well, in Lockwood, they won that case, and the man uh, the, the, <laughs> they he, they couldn't enforce payment because it was about five thousand pounds a day to have the traffic lights. And um, they couldn't enforce payment, they couldn't make him homeless, to, but they've got the first claim on however much they're owed, if and when he sells. So, so but Kirk Lee's won that one, so they may be hanging out for there's this. There's another one on Saturday, 
Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They're extremely hostile. Yeah. 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 So that's about as that I think I should have raised in the minutes, but I didn't think of it well halfway through the meeting. At the last meeting, we agreed we would write to Kirklees about um, the thing that the members of the public told us that they're no longer putting notices on mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, oh, I forgot. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't notice that I forgot to do that yesterday, but I forgot right. yeah, I've got time to do it. You don't have to do it, yeah. you don't have to put it on. Yeah. 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 It's probably doing it all, I forgot. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I'd forgotten before the... What they, used, the what they used to do, they used to give it to the applicants, and the applicants had to do it. Well, they're not doing, there's nothing on paper now. No. You've got to be going to the website all yes. the time. Yes, yeah. yeah. thanks for that, Councillor. Yeah. So, um, final item, which is not quite finished. Um, could we start any work with the Parliament Council? Is there anything that, in this evening's meeting that we want to do? I don't think so. 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 Yeah, we'll yeah, we can talk about Wolfstone. Yeah, 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 we should do, yeah. Put it out there and say yeah. that, 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 that we contested it yes. and um, we won. Yeah, it's a reason we won. Well, it's not just we won, the people won, I think. Yes, I think it's one of the cases where we'll work with Kirk, please. Yeah, I think we should work with them. Yeah, yeah, we work with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't be. Yes, along with, yeah. We don't usually. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.